Hi year two, it is Wednesday the 27th of January and it's our Tricky Word Wednesday. Have you got your whiteboard, your pen and your timer ready? So we're going to start today like we would in a, in a phonics lesson at school in our Tricky Words with our Tricky Word trucks. So we're going to start with phase four Tricky Words. Now these are Tricky Words that we should already know and have learnt in school. But if as I go along you see Tricky Words that you've forgotten or you don't recognise... Make a little note of those and you can have some extra practice on those. And remember, you can play this on phonics play as well. But I haven't got my fancy whiteboard today. Are we ready? So I'm going to hold the word up and then you're going to shout it out to your grown up. Let's go. Little. What. Said. Do. There. Well, Monday sound might help with this one. Out. Were. When. Lick. Uh, I mean, like, I've got a split diagraph there, haven't we? So we can sound that one out. Come. One. So. Have. Right, so the come, we've got some. How did you get on with those? Remember, any tricky ones, make a note of them. So those are phase four tricky words. And over the last couple of weeks on a Wednesday, we've been practising phase five tricky words. So I've got all of our phase five tricky words here. I've pulled the ones aside that we have practised. So are you ready? Okay, shout to your grown-up if you know them. We've got Mrs. Oh. Mr. Called. People. Looked. There. So remember, this is the belonging there when something belongs to you. Okay, so Tricky Word Wednesday. I've got four new tricky words today. And I've divided them into two groups to try and help us remember them. So we have got... Let's start with the two trickiest ones. Now, I think these are the trickiest, tricky words. The trickiest, tricky, trickiest words. Because they're written nothing like they sound. And these ones always catch us out. And we've had these, I think, as our spelling before for our spelling test. But we're going to give them again this week as well. So our first one. Can you remember what this word says here? C-O-U-L-D. And it says could. What it looks nothing like. Could. Doesn't look like ud. We can't sound it out. We've just got to know it. We've got C O U L D. As well as could, another tricky word that is spelt similar with the same O U L D ending, we've got should. So our first two tricky words this week are could and should. And they've got on their ending, good way of remembering it is, they've got O U lucky. Duck. And that's a good way of remembering that O U L D ending. Could, should. There's also another word that I haven't put in our tricky words this week. Do you know what it is? There's another word that is spelt the same with the O U L D ending. Do you know what it is? And it's wood. So not like Mrs. Wood, it's more like, would you like a drink? Or would you like a piece of toast? Not like my name or a wood. So we've got could. And should. Not ready. Should. Could. Should. Okay. Now the other two tricky words that I've got, I've put in a different group because they don't start with W and they can be both used for questions. And we've got... Who? Who are you? Who is your teacher? W-H-O. Who? The next one. You might get confused with another tricky word that we already know. Okay, this is where. Where are you going? Where is the nearest shop? Now, if we were to cover the H up, it looks like a tricky word we've already practiced, which is were, but it's where. So we've got where and who. We've got. Actually, I'm going to read this. Hold them up now, and then if you shout them out to see if you can remember them, we've got should. 
could, where, and who. So your grown-up might want to write them down on a whiteboard or a piece of paper and put them on the fridge. And for this week until next Wednesday, keep checking and keep testing if you know our tricky words. So I said today that we would need a timer. So we're going to do the timer game today where you write down the word Miss Wood shows you. Okay. Then cover it up. How many times can you write it in one minute? So are we ready? I know you always enjoy this game when we do it in class. So let's go. The first one we will start nice and easy. So write this word just once at the top of your whiteboard. Okay. It's a word. It's who? Who? Okay. Cover it up. Press your timer and go. How many times can you write that whiteboard? Do you want to pause now? How many times did you write the word who on your whiteboard? Okay, next one then. So we put our words into two groups today. And the other one was where. So do the same again. Write the word where in the corner of your whiteboard. Cover it up. Press your timer and go. How many times did you manage to write the word where? And you can pause the video. So you should have who and where. Now here come our tricky ones. Shout them both out if you can remember them. Got, could, and should. And they've got our O U L D endings. Oh, you lucky duck. We're going to go for could first of all. So write it down to your whiteboard. Cover it up. Press your timer and go. Hey, how many times did you manage to write the word could? So if you got could correct, you should be able to get should. We ready? Write it down, cover it up, and go. Okay, well done. So once the minute's up, check how many you've got. Count them. Which word did you manage to count the most of? And did you get them all correct? Grown up, just check we've got every single word correct. You might even want to go head to head with each other. So you might want to put the timer on. Both write them down. Who can write the most in the minute? So you might want to have a bit of head to head challenge as well. OK, so this week, your challenge, your sentence, I would like you to write for me four questions. So each question you are going to write is going to contain could, should, where or who. So four questions, a tri one tricky word in each question. If you can fit more than one tricky word in one question, that would be very impressive. So four questions. So how do you punctuate a question? It's not a full stop. It's not an exclamation mark. It's a question mark. So ask a question using our tricky words. OK, so don't forget to show me how you get on. I want to see your super sentences. And some of these words will be in your spellings this week. So we're not just practicing reading them, testing and see if we can write them as well. OK, you two. It was Tricky Word Wednesday. It's Thursday tomorrow, so we're back to learning a new sound tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Bye.